Eyewitness News was in the courtroom exclusively when the accused rapist went before a judge. He is charged in a series of violent sex assaults terrorizing women in parks in New Jersey. And we've learned he is from Mexico and that authorities say sketches proved to be key in finally tracking him down. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live in Somerville with new details. Tony? And the Somerset County Prosecutor's Office says its evidence is very strong against this suspect, including DNA evidence they say ties him to both of those sexual assaults, but also a bicycle and two hoodies that the victims say match the description of the items that they saw when they were assaulted. Also, uh, they're thinking that more victims may be out there. Somerset County prosecutors say this sketch is this man, 38-year-old Rogelio Pastrero, a Mexican citizen arrested as the suspect in at least two sexual assaults. If there are other victims that are out there, we ask for them to come, come forward. Police got their break August 4th when a woman called police to report a man exposing himself in a lewd act near the Nevius Bridge in Raritan Borough. The officer noticed he resembled the sketches from two sexual assaults. The first on July 18th of 2021 at Duke Island Park where a young woman was biking and was grabbed. The male had his arm around her neck and pulled her into the bushes off of the path. The victim was struggling to breathe. Then on May 16th of this year, another woman jogging was attacked on the six mile run trail in Franklin Township. The male demanded money, strangled her, and covered her mouth. She had difficulty breathing. All three locations are within the same general area and near Raritan, where the suspect lives. Muller says DNA taken from the victims links Prostrero to both assaults and that evidence is being shared with Middlesex County and its investigation of a sexual assault near the DNR Canal last year. Prostrero is also facing charges for a fake Social Security card and permanent resident card, which allowed him to work at a restaurant. Presiding Judge Peter Tober deciding to keep Prostrero in custody. I don't see a series of conditions, a set of conditions that I can impose that would sufficiently protect the public here. So I am going to adopt the recommendation of the public safety assessment, order the detention of Mr. Prestrell. After court, we spoke briefly to Prestrell's family members. You guys are going to stand by him? We will, but no further comment. Okay. Okay. Now, to be clear, Prostrero is a suspect who has been charged. It still remains, though, good advice to mind, be mind, very mindful, in fact, of your surroundings if you're out jogging or bicycling, especially in remote areas. Prostrero's next date in court is September 19th.